this is the last video for this week. In this video, we are going to study sub game perfect equilibrium. We have studied a similar concept that we have learned how to obtain equilibrium in extensive form game using backward induction, but we have also seen that in some of the places we cannot do backward induction. To take care of those issues, we have this concept called sub game perfect equilibrium. This is much more technical way of doing things and it encompasses the equilibrium that we obtain using backward induction. So, just to refresh your memory, here we are taking an entry game, there is a challenger which is deciding to enter in the market or stay out in the m from the market and then there is an incumbent challenger we can say C, incumbent is I. Once challenger enters the market, incumbent either fights or accommodates and the payoffs are given. And here we can obtain the equivalent normal form game. What is the equivalent normal form game? Here we have already done this is 1 comma 2, 1 comma 2. We had done it earlier using different numbers, but it does not numbers do not matter. They are ordinal anyway. These numbers are made up numbers. So, this is in the extensive form and this is in the normal form. And what we had said that we can use this extensive, we can use backward induction to solve this extensive form game and challenger would think that incumbent is rational and therefore, between fight and accommodate, incumbent is going to choose accommodate because accommodate gives 1 to incumbent and fight gives 0 to incumbent. So, accommodate is definitely better. So, game is definitely going to move in this direction. So, challenger being rational would know that if it decides to enter in the market, the payoff to it is going to be 2 and to incumbent it is going to be 1. So, then challenger being rational would compare between enter and stay out and enter gives 2 and stay out gives 1 and therefore, challenger will decide to enter in the market. We have already discussed this, we are just repeating you can say think it is a recap. And here similarly, we have written the payoff, we can obtain the Nash equilibrium here. So, Nash equilibrium is going to be if incumbent echo decides to accommodate, the best response is enter, echo incumbent decides to fight, best response is to stay out. And if challenger decides to enter, the best response is accommodate. If challenger decides to stay out, best strategy is to accommodate or fight and we get two Nash equilibrium, enter, accommodate and stay out and fight. These are two Nash equilibrium and what did we get as equilibrium from backward induction? We got enter, comma accommodate. What we see that there is an additional equilibrium here in Nash equilibrium, which is more probable the way it looks like that in stay out fight, what does it mean? That challenger would directly move to stay out, because challenger is worried that here fight would happen and fight would give 0 to the challenger while staying out is giving 1. So, challenger will write at the beginning will stay out. This does not look credible. Why? Because challenger knows that incumbent is rational. So, given a chance to play this game at this node, incumbent is going to accommodate. So, why challenger you know challenger would not think that incumbent is going to fight. So, what is the problem? Entry game we have already solved. What is the problem? The problem is that when we are talking about this normal form game, we are thinking that even before the game begins, the challenger is deciding between enter and stay out. That is really happening, but we are further assuming that incumbent is also right here deciding between fight F sort for fight or accommodate, which is not happening. In fact, when incumbent is deciding between fight and accommodate, incumbent gets to observe what challenger has done. So, incumbent has that information. So, challenge incumbent knows that game has already moved, 
but when we are writing in the normal form game, we are suppressing this information that incumbent gets to observe the challenger. We pretend, we assume that game is being played right at the beginning as if challenger on a piece of paper writing enter or stay out and incumbent is writing on a piece of paper accommodate or fight and right at the beginning they are deciding there is uncertainty strategic uncertainty and challenger has some reason to believe that incumbent is going to fight and therefore the best response is to stay out and incumbent think that challenger is going to stay out so best response is both therefore stay out comma fight in this you get best response of one another and therefore it comes out to be Nash equilibrium. So, simply saying that in a stay out comma fight is not credible because once challenger enters the market incumbent has no option but to accommodate. This credibility does not come out through the Nash equilibrium because all the players are deciding once and for all right at the beginning and this is solved by backward induction. Backward induction takes care of the sequential nature of the game. So, it gives the right kind of information, right kind of equilibrium, but we will see some certain situation where backward induction would not work. Like for example, here is a game in player 1 is deciding between u and d and if player 1 decides between u and d, player 1 and 2 simultaneously move and they basically play a normal form game where player 1 decides between A and B and player 2 decides between X and Y. How many sub games do we have? A sub game is starting here, whole game is a sub game, another sub game is starting here. We cannot say a sub game is starting here, we cannot say a sub game is starting here. So, we cannot treat this part separately than this part separately. So, backward induction will not work because this node is attached to this node. So, backward induction is going to fail. How to solve such a game? Other problem is that you have a game where you know uh, player keep this action keeps on happening player 1 plays then player 2 plays then player 1 plays then player 2 plays and it never stops. So, if there is no end you need an end to start backward induction, you are coming from backside. we will see such a problem in repeated infinitely repeated game. If you do not have a terminal node, how can you start backward induction? In that case also backward induction fails. So, we have to come up with a way that takes care of such problem and there we have a notion of what is called sub game perfect equilibrium in sort SPE and it takes care of the credible threats and it ignores the incredible threats, the threats which are not plausible. So, sub game perfect equilibrium has three things, one is sub game, second is perfect and third is equilibrium. So, here again we are talking about some sort of social equilibrium, sub game I have already explained to you what is a sub game a perfect notion will become clear whenever we get an equilibrium in extensive form typically we put a word perfect there. So, it is in that sense. What is a sub game? So, if you know if there is a game like this uh, we have the entry game where you have challenger and incumbent. So, this node can be thought of you know as a beginning new beginning and so a new game is starting here one can say. So, this can be treated as a sub game, a sub game in all sense a game in itself, it follows all the properties of a game okay? and so there is another sub game starting right at the beginning. So, we say that strategy profile that is Nash equilibrium in every proper sub game including the root proper term we can remove also including the root whether or not that sub game is reached along the equilibrium path of the play that will become clear. So, let us see what we are trying to say, let us look at the game this we have already figured out that here we figured out using backward induction. Now, we can figure out using sub game perfect equilibrium. So, what we can do? We can obtain one way is to that we can obtain Nash equilibrium and there are two Nash equilibrium inter accommodate stay out and fight. 
what we have said for sub game perfect equilibrium whether or not that sub game is reached along the equilibrium path of the player everything is in the equilibrium path that again will become clear but let us look at the how many sub games do we have one whole game is sub game of itself and second a sub game is a starting when incumbent plays so if we use inter comma accommodate it says in the whole game challenger plays inter and incumbent plays accommodate this is what backward induction is also saying and this is what in you know it's it's inducing nas like behavior in all the sub game this sub game only in incumbent is acting and between fight and accommodate accommodate is better so he is playing accommodate that is fine and in the whole game this inter is better so this is fine we can say inter comma accommodate is sub game perfect equilibrium what happens with stay out and fight let us look at this strategy profile what will it induce in the smaller sub game it will say that in a smaller sub game because stay out is no longer possible that's it's not part of this uh, smaller sub game only is that fight can happen so in this sub game incumbent is going to fight that doesn't make sense because accommodate gives better payoff so incumbent if is going to fight in this sub game it's no longer rational and therefore it's not going to happen so stay out comma fight doesn't induce nas like behavior in all the sub games and therefore stay out comma fight is not sub game perfect equilibrium while inter comma accommodate induces nas like behavior everywhere in all the sub games and therefore it is sub game perfect equilibrium we will see let's look at one more example it will become clear this is a game how many players do we have one and two what is the strategy set for player one player one has a play here and play here at two information set and both the information set player one has two actions so two multiplied by two four strategies are there what are those strategies ux uy dx dy second is for player two how many strategies only one play player two has so a comma b so what would be the normal form game we can say this is going to be 4 by 2 matrix because player 1 has 4 strategies ux uy dx dy and player 2 a and b if player 1 plays ux and player 2 plays a because of ux player 1 will move in this direction because of a player 2 will move in this direction and this because ux here so it is 1 comma 3 u x comma b where things will come u will take game to this node b will take game to this node and x will take to 0 comma 0 and similarly we can fill this is 0 comma 0 this is 3 comma 1 and then d x d y does not matter what player 2 does as soon as player 1 takes d game comes to here so it is 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 how many nas equilibrium do we have we can check if player 2 is playing a best response from player 1 is either dx or dy 2 is more than 1 or 0 and similarly here best response is ui if player 1 is playing ux best response is a here best response is b here best responses are both a and b so what do we get here we have a Nash equilibrium here we also have a Nash equilibrium here also we have Nash equilibrium so there are three Nash equilibrium u y comma b then d x comma a and then d y comma b how many of these are sub game perfect equilibrium let us look at it how many sub games do we have there are only two sub games one starting at this point another one starting at this node a sub game cannot start here 
a sub game cannot start here because you need to have only one root and these are connected to one another. Remember a sub game starts at only singleton information set information set which has only one node. So, if in this sub game because you know in this sub game what would be the operational part of u y comma b that player 1 is playing y and player 2 is playing b. So, y comma b what is going to happen here the payoff is going to be 3 comma 1 and therefore, player 1 will choose u because 3 comma 1 and here 2 comma 2 3 is more than 2. So, player 1 will choose u. So, from u y comma b this is sub game perfect because it induces NAS like behavior everywhere. How about d x comma a? x comma a it means here you will have 1 comma 3 2 is more than 1. So, player will choose player 1 will choose d. So, d x comma a is again sub game perfect equilibrium. Now, d x comma b a. in this sub game what d x comma b says that player 1 will play x y and player 2 will play b a. and they will get 0 comma 0 in this game sub game which can also be represented by let us say x y a b and x a is 1 comma 3, 3 comma 1, 0 comma 0, 0 comma 0. This Nash equilibrium says that they will end up here which does not make any sense because they both can do better. So, this is not a sub game perfect equilibrium, but this is a Nash equilibrium. This is the way we obtain sub game perfect equilibrium. There is another example that in Bertrand competition we had this. Again I am not going to solve because you have already solved it. This firm 1 is deciding q 1 and then firm 2 is deciding q 2. You can see now how did we solve because firm 1 is deciding q 1 when it is deciding q 1 firm 1 will because it is thinking forward and looking backward also. So, firm 2 will take q 1 as given. So, as a function q 2 will come out as a function of q 1. So, when firm 1 is deciding it will account it will not take any q 2 firm 1 knows that if it decides q 1 q 2 is automatically decided. So, that is how we solve the butter and competition, but we had already seen in earlier course how to solve it. So, just to say every sub game perfect equilibrium is a Nash equilibrium the way we have obtained. I will tell you the shortcut also wherever you can use backward induction please do use backward induction it will give you sub game perfect equilibrium. And if you cannot use sub game backward induction then the technique that I just told you would be very useful for you. So, again let me repeat a sub game perfect equilibrium is a strategy profile that induces a Nash equilibrium in every sub game. So, that is it for sub game perfect equilibrium. For our purpose backward induction will do, but it is good idea to understand what is happening. We have technique to obtain sub game perfect equilibrium or an equilibrium in such settings. Thank you.